Remember how long them videos were on MTV? Remember if you didn't like if you, songs were. if you didn't like Meatloaf, you were still watching that f- fucking melodramatic shit. Movies, for weren't they? they were little movies with people on lots of people on motorbikes. Yeah, lots of yeah. motorbikes going along. A yeah. motorbike driving into churches, or is that we get that mixed? Me- up Meatloaf program? played in Daily Mail Park in the uh, fuck like nineteen eighty. 1981, he played Daily Mail Park when they used to have loads of gigs there. And I think it was the same gig as, uh, um, oh, fuck, who played there? For the life of me, I can't fucking, my brain's gone. Bob Marley. Sepultura. Sure. That was years <laughs> later. But I think Bob Marley and Meatloaf played the same gig, I think. No in, way. In, in, in Daily Mail. And Meatloaf came out on stage on my father's motorbike. Really? Yeah, my uncle was one of the organisers of the gigs down in Daily Mail. Because um, he was heavily involved with the League of Ireland or something, they had to have people yeah. representative of the League of Ireland there. And Meatloaf showed up and he was like, I need to come out on stage. It's not like League of play. Ireland to try to uh, and get stuff for Isn't free. It? Yeah, it's terrible. Um, <laughs> but they, Meatloaf it's was like, cool. I need a bike, I need a bike. And my dad had like a big Honda Goldwing with all the fucking shit hanging out. Nice. So, uh, yeah, Meatloaf drove my dad's motorbike out on stage. Like, he wouldn't fit in an album. Did he leave a big arse patch? I sweat, he did. Sweaty arse well, to be fair, my album loved fucking meatloaf, so I say he was licking the seat off. <laughs> he was hearing the seat off. Because it smelled like meat, strangely it enough. It's strange enough, man. There's a definite smell of fucking sausage off. <laughs> I saw him live, meatloaf live. Did you? I did. I got free tickets to it. A friend of mine had tickets to it. Is a How long ago was that? To it. Jesus. Was that like I'm, a desperation tour, like in the last... No, this was after he was told, you can't go out... I run around the stage anymore because you'll die because you'll die he's, yeah. he'd had a massive heart attack I mm. think and uh, he came out on a a gourney stretcher thing really that, and covered with a thing over him and they were trying to revive him oh, this is all part of the show okay. and he jumped up alright I thought that was real for a minute no That's and he jumped up and started they still wheel the cunt out like baiting that. around the stage running like full full throttle slipping on his own sweat just non-stop and it was great. It was, you know, I'm, I was never a meatloaf or didn't like him or hate him. But after that, it was like that's sometimes you That'd see a band be a where good you go fucking impressed. list. Bands that you're meh about, you don't love them, you don't hate them, but they're grand. That'd be a deadly just grand, band. just grand. Bands. Oh well, one of the one of the ideas was very good songs from very bad bands. Yeah. but that's a really hard one. That's tough because also song- listen before we go any further, we have to point out that all of this is just subjective to us. Like well, no, it's right. We know it's right, but <laughs> yeah. to some people, we might shit all over somebody's favourite band. Don't start crying. Yeah, exactly. Or do. I'll cry in and we'll talk about it. Fucking give us the whole idea behind this podcast that we're going to talk shit about music. Good shit, bad shit, in between. But it's up to you, the listener, to let us know if you're happy with it or you hate us. And we'll, we might re- read them out and then shit on you a second time. Absolutely. And if you have any uh, suggestions... For one of the ideas for a playlist that we have. Yes. Let us know. Send us the Spotify link to our send us a YouTube link. And don't even think about adding a song to that. I go, oh, maybe I'll start you off with this. No. 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 That's don't rude. That. Yeah. Just <laughs> post it up. Let us That's know. That's for your podcast. Yeah. But yeah. I'll grace you with my, my fucking input. Um, no, but do <laughs> let us know. If you've got an idea, um, the, these, these playlists will be, they'll be living and breathing to a degree. They won't be edited all the time. When they're set, they're set. But we definitely will be able. If someone to. comes in and goes, "How did you forget this?" Exactly. And we go, "Oh, they're exactly. right." There has to be. I can't fucking, believe we forgot the yeah. main OG of the tread we brought up yeah. and didn't come up with in the course. Yes, that's absolutely going to happen. So if you have input, please let us know. Um, yeah, and we and post it up. Let us know. Post it up. We're, we're like I said, we're going to have this on Spotify on iTunes. I'm trying to work on getting it up on YouTube just as an an audio track, but post your comments a- anywhere you think. We, we will see them. It's not like we've anything else to do. Yeah, we yeah. do like feedback. But you're saying great songs by shy bands. It's a tough one. Because it's, there's sometimes I go, that's not a bad song from a shy band. Remember that band Top Loader Dancing in the yeah. middle? That song really got under my fucking skin to the point where I think I listened to a couple of other songs that were on a, you know, those free discs that used to yeah. come with things. But there was one song, that the second, it might have been the second single, that Achilles Heel song. It wasn't bad. But then again... Mm. What was that? What was the fourth single by Embrace? That was a good song. And the rest of it was shy. Well, I see you think, I have a bit of a soft song from Embrace. For Embrace, so, yeah. yeah. Now, they had one big single though. See, they could have been, they could have been huge. Which but a man couldn't really sing. Couldn't sing, yeah. and his lyrics... Where Shite. only about you, mm. every third word was mm. me, mm. you and me. So like that because he was the brother of the guy in the band. Was he? Yeah, and he is genuinely an 
awful. I think they're called the McBrides. No, the McBrides, no. It's know. something quite Irish. Hmm. But if you listen to their greatest hits, there's about five. Actually, no, you know what? Uh, the one with all you good, good people. That's a bit of a football y chanty song, yeah. though. Yeah. They have a few couple of football y chants. Yeah. British Stag Deal songs. And they have a song called. We are family. Oh. That's another one of those as well. Like but then there's a few. Song. There's a few songs like um, the good, the good will out, the good will come out. It's the easiest. Is that the fourth album? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that's what the album's called. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. 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 The good will out. And uh, I remember their fourth. Your weakness is none of my business. Is a great song. I I only remember a pal of mine that I was in the first ever band that was ever in with uh, the drummer Keith Roach loved that band. Mm. Fucking loved them. Well, right. it's a strong debut. But there was one, the big single off, I always thought was really good. Um, so I can't. How do you do? Yeah. How, how do you do? How do you do? Like, I did a few songs. One, two, yeah. three. What was the second uh, Supergrass album? In it for the money was a third one, no? Or was that the second one? Is it I Should Coco? I Should Coco's the first album. Maybe In it for the money is Are the you thinking album. of the song that ripped off song two, Blur? Richard III. Richard III, that's a great song. That's great Baron song. song but it, but, it's, but it, is, it's, it is song two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not song two, but it's, it is a, it's way better. Way better song. <laughs> you see, like, Supergrass are very far from a bad I band. Lo- I like Supergrass an awful lot. Why would you bring up in the thread about no, bad bands? No, I was bands? trying to think, what the, <laughs> going back to the idea for the first. Oh, do you mean is, bands around? Oh, right, hang on, because there's bands around I think that. the gap between, I can't remember the name of the third one is. No, that was, uh, no, that, there wasn't enough of a gap. That's the one they just literally went missing for. See, back then it felt like, an album when you're into a band when they didn't release an album for eight like 16 months yeah 15 months like, <gasps> that's over a year yeah because he released he's released a bunch of solo albums now Gaz Combs the singer yeah um, I actually went back recently and listened to some of their stuff there's a couple of good stuff bits and bobs on it but you can tell the production money isn't there yeah. for I know his, his fourth solo album isn't great and the the one he put out after that I think it's the last one that's very good that's got a little I, bit of a theme to it I think the thread of Bad bands with a good song. No, it has. They have to be bad band, and it has to be not just a passable song in terms of in like frame reference for them. For them, it has to be a good song. So the one, the only one I can think of is I fucking hate you before you. I think they're absolute disease. Yeah, but I really like that rat in my kitchen song. Rat in my kitchen, but damn. What about Papa Roach? That cut my light in the pieces song. I like that like, song. See, that's not even their best song, so it can't even be. Do you? Like, I don't know a single other song. That song with the Fight Club lyrics. There's Fight. no ma- Don't know it. No that's the only song I can think of. I know they were around for ages and they're still around. Um, that's the only big song in there that I can think of. The, no, the, Between Angels and Insects is a very good really? new, new metal song. Hmm. But they are a bad sort of band though. They also had a song called Broken Homes. Uh, that album you see had a few... Hmm. Who else then? Who else is shite? Who's crap that has a good song? You see... I could mention Queen, but Queen aren't crap. No, I just don't like Queen. Yeah. But they, I can tell Death that they're definitely. Pour some sugar on me. I don't even like that song. But Dinner. Gee, are they crap? They are crap, kind of crap. Yeah, mm. they kind of are a crap band. And that song Animal is good, and Hysteria is not bad. So there's a couple, I suppose, in that. Yeah, maybe they're not. There's not a big enough gap between the amaze and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm but thinking of bands like specifically. But here's the problem: that, that 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 shy band. Good Big song. song. That's very. It's a sit down. But, and really but that, 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 could fa- that could fall into fucking one hit wonder territory as well. Like you know, that's very true. Spin doctors. Do not have two songs? They only have. Well, everyone only has two. Everyone, yeah. everyone can say that about anyone that they have yeah. two. But I'd have to really. You see, I would. I don't, I don't think I would have liked the rest of their stuff. Yeah. Mm. So that's a band I reckon I would have listed the rest of their stuff. And went. Oh, no. What about? Here's an idea for a good playlist. Um, second albums. I always think second albums are better than first albums. Well, we're gonna do a song. Like the defining song from like the a soft, proper what was it called killer. the sophomore release soft, sophomore release or whatever yeah yeah, yeah. so you could have, have a Kula Shaker we talked about that earlier yeah you like Peasant Pigs and that's so not better I than, love that album. yeah it's great oh definitely definitely uh, the production you see sometimes if you could tell that the songs are good but the production is, is infinitely better than the songs mm-hmm. which makes the songs very good so mm-hmm. the production on that is like just sometimes the production Find that with Semi Sonic as well. Their production is so good that some of the possible that songs. That was that fucking nineties. Like, everything sounded the same production though. Yeah, but he's the he's the producer and he produces. Yeah. Pff, fucking what he. He does loads. Of, it's like a man from New Radicals and New Radicals. Yeah. That's, he, not, he produced I think that. He produced them. Yeah. I mean, that's where you got that sound from. He, I, people piss on that album. 
I, I love that album. I have never listened to anything else because that first song. Oh, that don't f- let hurts go. Me. It's painful. I just it's painful. It hurts I love that me album. so much. That new Radicals album. Uh, it's not even that it's a. Uh, it's not like it's nowhere near like the best thing you've ever heard. It's 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 leagues off that. There's just something about. I like the idea behind it that he was a uh, he wanted to be a producer. That's all he wanted to do. Yeah, and he couldn't get work. Yeah, so he just banged out a fucking killer top ten album. And then turned around to every man. To like the, that's I'm not doing that band anymore. Like that was. I just want to show you. I can write songs and I can yeah. record and I can produce. You wrote Ronan Keaton's "Life Is a Roller Coaster." Life is a roller coaster. So again, that's why I Don't fucking hate give him. Up. And yeah. that and he's just creating more. He's done a bunch of shit. Bad vibes in yeah. the music scene. There was a big thing with that stuff in the nineties as well. With like uh, all the the fat wreck record, fat records bands like No Effects and Pennywise and all that. They had one studio that they used. And one uh, producer slash engineer. So I meant that everything that was released in like a 15 year period sounded the exact same. Now it was that style for that kind of pop punk, American punk kind of stuff. And it worked really well. Yeah. But there was a there was a band called Consumed, an English band. And they recorded an EP for Fat Wreck. And it was great. It done really well. It's one of those Tony Hawk songs. It's on Tony Hawk 2. Yeah. Like it's called Heavy Metal Winner. It's the song. It's a very good song. And uh, that was on that EP. And then they released an album for them. Um, I, can't, I think it was called Hit for Six, the album, I think. And the same thing, sound exactly the same as the EP. Like, you could grab that EP, fuck it on the end of that album, and just make a super long album out of it. You wouldn't even know it were recorded at different times. Because yeah. same engineer, same studio, same gear, everything. And these lads are from fucking Wolverhampton or something. And they couldn't afford to get over to record their second album. <laughs> so they recorded it in England. Yeah. And they tried to do their best to match it up to the way Fat Wreck wanted those albums recorded. And they sent it over to Fat Wreck. And Fat Wreck said, fuck you, absolutely not. If you're recording for us, you have to come over to California and you have to record in this studio. It's where they wouldn't and they got pay for them to come no, over. because there's no money in that fucking... Yeah. Every, when it comes to punk bands and fucking hardcore bands and probably a lot of metal bands that are like lower and mid-tier, these cunts all work like construction and all. Like and they just take two months off to go on tour. There's loads of those bands. There's bands that I thought. Would What's have the had point with being, being with a record label? Though? I suppose distribution. That's all I need a month. Yeah, that's all I need a month. You know? I suppose another good uh, idea for playlists would be we'll find songs by bands that you would never ever guess that that was them. Yeah, could be on a later release mm. where they went a bit more digital dancey. Change up their style. Like there's a few Muse songs. Well, actually, you know from his voice. But that last Muse album is fucking. Just garbage. It's one of the worst things I've ever heard. But I have never, I've never liked a full Muse release since no, the start. No, just songs on. But they slowly started like having less good songs per yes. album. Yeah. So the first two albums, the first album is the closest to the best album that they have. The first album has like Plug In Baby and all that. No, stuff, that's the second there? one. That's the second one. This other one has Muscle Museum. Muscle Museum. And uh, Sunbur- Sunborn. Sunborn. Could be. And yeah. then after that, it's Origin just, of Symmetry. That's you see, it's not a bad album, but yeah. it's it's just full of shite songs. Yeah. Then uh, Absolution, all that you're starting yeah. to go into just That's really, start, yeah. Just uh, like the more territory. the more effects he built into that fucking Telecaster, the yeah. worse they got. Yeah. But he, he started doing the same thing with his voice every time. You go, yeah. I just, you would know the changes that were coming with his voice. Yeah. Bass player is very good. Give him that. I think they're all very good. So they are. Yeah. Well, he is. You no, know, not taking away from the, the skill them, but I just felt. And then they just that last album is. I that last album what is, just, is Ready Player won that album. Like it's fucking yes. shite. Yeah. Shite. Yeah. Fans who release songs that don't necessarily sound. No, like especially like, don't fucking sound like it. Like, yeah. Wow, how is that? You know the way we listen to a lot of albums where we be like that, that is like an experimental song on that album. Like that can't be them. That can't yeah, be that band. Yeah. It might be hard to find that, but I reckon we could find, or else that just don't sound like that band. With enough digging, you definitely could. That also ties into a lot of playlists as well, like songs. Like it almost ties into the last playlist we mentioned. Good bands or terrible bands with good songs. Good song. Obviously, that's not going to sound like the rest of their stuff. No. So. Yeah, you're looking for departures more than good. Yeah. Really. Oh, another one good one would be famous bands who have songs where they didn't let the lead singer sing. Someone else in the band sang it. Oasis. Depeche Mode. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Been a couple of them. Yeah. Who else? Was there, there was a couple of Hill songs, wasn't there? What Pete Townsend sang? Possibly, yeah. Um, Queen. Fucking Queen, shit load Queen of them. They sang a lot of songs. So did Roger, they all Roger did. Taylor. They all sang songs, yeah. No, yeah. they all sang they all, had, they all had a song or two. That'd be a good one. Yeah. That's a lot of digging. That sounds like homework, man. This is, but that's, that's what we have to do. We can't come in just off the, <laughs> Like, I can't think of things off the top of my head. 
But if they give me, I usually can. I'm just bollocks right now. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's.